Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's you from Happiness and Crafting um, So today I'm sort of like still carrying on with my Shabadashery journal But I'm making some little embellishments and I'm using the thimbles that I bought um, that I, When I was in Spain, but obviously you can get those everywhere um, And I've made some little dingly danglies So this is like, I made them to go on the um, spine of the journal So this one I've just popped a little bit of um, stuffing in there and made it into like a little pin cushion um, which is lovely I did cut down my little pins because they were way too big um, so I just chopped those off and they fit in there lovely so I'm loving that and then this one I have just made into sort of like a little sort of dingly dangly um, I've got a little flower a little rose on there a bit of chain I've got some little um, charms which I got from Timu, which are lovely and I've just sort of like hung those off there so we've got scissors and a tape measure, little button um, which I think just looks really really nice and I think they'll look nice hanging off the um, spine now this one I was going to pop sort of um, a little bit of trim around there I don't know where it's gone now I've got some little bit of lace here but um, I did stick it round but I took it off because it looked a bit like a cupcake and I didn't really want them looking like cupcakes can you see if you put something round there it looks it sort of like makes it look a bit sort of like a, a cupcake so I've just sort of like left it um, but loving it I'm loving them so I'm going to just show you how simple they are to make I'm going to make another two doesn't mean I'm going to hang them all off my journal but um, we will see which are the nicest ones now this one I did make a hole through the top um, and popped a piece of wire through but I'm not going to do that I'm going to do it a different way today um, so hopefully we can um, you know it will work so I'm going to start with this one and then we'll do the little pin cushion so the first thing that I'm going to do actually I'm going to show you these little charms um, I got these off Timo and I must have bought two packs because I have lots they sent two so I think I I did order two but they are lovely now I know you can get these on Amazon as well so I'll pop a link down but if you buy from Timu you can have a look on there as well they're exactly the same but again obviously on Timu they're a lot cheaper but look at them they are fabulous so we've got our lovely needles we've got little pins we've got tape measures we've got a little um, sewing machine some little glasses a ball of wool um, lots of different scissors little singer sewing machine so they are fabulous they are really really nice um, to use so I will no doubt keep them in my stash so that's those ones these are exactly the same um, but they're just different so there's a little pair of different pair of scissors on there um, another sewing machine or oh, that's a little iron um, and what was it there was oh they had a little coat hanger but I only got one little coat hanger in there but they are fabulous aren't they really really lovely um, so they will go to the side the only other thing I was going to show you actually was my journal I have been working on it but I've just done a few bits in the first one and it's going to be quite thick so I'm not sure whether to just have two signatures and make a smaller one because I don't want this to be a big fat one I want it to be sort of like not too fat so I should have probably waited to do the um, cover shouldn't I before I filled it all up but never mind okay so I'm going to take one of my little um, thimbles and we are going to take a little bit of wire now this is just some wire this is sort of like garden wire it's like galvanized wire so what I was going to do I'm just going to do apologize about my nails I was um, coffee staining some uh, fabric um, and I didn't wear gloves and it's gone all up in my nails so it's because for some reason I'm making coffee and I'm leaving it everywhere and I'm not finishing it and then going and getting another one so what I did I took all my cups of coffee and instead of throwing it away I um, um, coloured some fabric with it so I didn't have to throw it down the sink 
so there we go so what I've done I've just made it like a little um, squirrely whirly ring like that and what I thought I'd do I was just glue gun that inside like that um, so if that goes in there so I'm going to cut it off just a little bit lower than that and then I'm going to just make a little loop oh I should have used my little loopy thing shouldn't I where is it I can still do that can't I let's just pop that in right on the edge there we go perfect oops there we are put that on make our little loop so that hopefully will fit in there like that I'm going to glue gun that in what I should have done I should have left it a little bit longer first but that's all right okay shall I glue that in shall we glue that in first right I've got my glue gun I'm just going to put a nice big blob of glue in there and you've got to be careful because they get really hot because obviously because it's metal so let's just stick that in there stick that in oops there we go and then we can just put a little jump ring on there that's in there pretty sturdy not sure that's gonna hold it though let's let's poke that down okay let's see oh I think it should be okay okay so that's that bit now I'm going to get my jump rings Just probably should have popped some on there first shouldn't I maybe a jump ring on there what should we have hanging off it let's open this up should we have should we have a nice long pair of scissors because that's a different one we don't maybe that's too long oh should we have these little funny ones we shall have that and maybe we'll have some yarn I won't maybe I just have one because I'm not sure how strong that's going to be what are they doing back up there let's open this up and I can't find my little jump ring jump ring ring that I had I don't know what I've done with that I'm absolutely hopeless you can tell I haven't been doing videos for a while can't you pop that on there pop a little pair of scissors oops and then we just Twist that together. I don't think I would have got in there actually with that jump ring ring anyway. There we go. So this one's got like a little pair of scissors dangling off it. Fabulous. Okay. I'll pop these to the side. Now I'm going to embellish this. So all I did with this one, I just wrapped a little bit of um what's it called? Velvet around there. Now I have got some of this just held it together with one of my clips and I just thought I would pop this on there just wrap that round like that nice and super simple just I think I just glue gun that on just a little bit you've got to be careful because it using a glue gun on metal it um, sets it really quickly like that there we go I'm not going to cut it off because I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to use Oops. so just pop it round so this is a difficult thing because I don't want them to look I want them to sort of like look pretty but like I said, I don't want it to look like a little cake or anything. I want it to look like it's supposed to go into a um, sewing journal or have a dashery journal, don't we? There we go. So pop that around. There we go. 
perfect pair of scissors. Let's take these. There we go. Look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? All nice and pretty. Probably stick it on a little bit better than I have there. Love them. Right, let's pop this to the side. Now what I need, oh, I didn't get a little flower. I'm going to use the same little roses on there because I think that looks right nice. Right, two seconds. Okay, so I have two. I've got a little creamy one and the same colour. So should I just pop the little creamy one? No, don't like that one. What do you think? That looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Now, what I need to do is get my awl. And I need to, without stabbing myself, just make a hole through there. Just like that. Because I need to stick a piece of wire through there again. Where is it gone? Here it is. So I'm going to... Let's do a little loop with our little one of these. So we want a little loop through there, like that, I'm going to cut it off, say about there, that's probably way too, way too much. So let's pop that through, pop that through the hole so you've got the little loop there, don't want it to go all the way through, but we want to just make another little um, what's it called? Just a little spiral. Just wrap it round like that. Because what we're going to do, we're going to glue this on the top again. But we want to sort of have something to glue, don't we? So if we turn that round, I want to squash that without squashing my little loop. There we go. What's that like? quite in the middle is it but that will work I think that's going to sit on there squash it down a little bit there we go okay and then we can just stick that on top lovely let's pop a little bit of glue on here what do you think we shall see if it will hold up. Oh my gosh. Don't drop it on your desk. Look, I've got to make a big mess now. Okay, add a bit more glue. There we go. Oh my gosh, I dropped it again. God, so clumsy. Right, let's just stick that on. Okay, well, I think you've probably got the idea, but you might probably do it a little bit neater and tidier than I'm doing. Look at me, I've got all glue stuck everywhere. Okay, do you think we can take this off before it sticks? Here we go. Oh, what a mess. It's not very on there very well, is it? lovely 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 right let's get a little jump ring and then we want a little bit of chain let's just chop a little bit of this off take a little jump ring pop that on pop that through so we need that little loop so that we can hang it up there we go look at that 
that's lovely isn't it doesn't that look nice I just think I want to see this bit because obviously I want it to be so it looks like um, a thimble on there not 100% sure whether I like that lace but we shall see we shall see what it looks like and then I'm going to take one of these little ball pins which I have in here and then pop it on the end like that might be a bit too long but I just think these will look really really lovely hanging off different lengths on there and then you've got this one which is a little bit longer but they just make such lovely charms as well don't they loving them right shall I show you how to make our little our little pin cushion right that's the other one now what I've got I've got a couple of bits of fabric and I wanted to use this one so I'm not quite sure whether that's going to be too big but the first thing I'm going to do is make a hole in the side of here I didn't actually make a hole I sort of I used where is it this one and it sort of cut the top piece but not the bottom piece which I'm glad because it was such a big hole um, it only just snipped the top so that was really lucky um, I wasn't quite sure whether this would work but it did so I'm just gonna put that in like that can you see it just gives like a little flap you might be able to see a little bit better in there so like a little hole so I'm going to take a bigger jump ring actually because I'm going to pop this in first like that let's open this up pop that through that little bit so it's just like a little slit you could probably um, make a hole with your awl or something like that if you could um, or if not maybe you could just like wrap a little bit of wire around the lip of that okay so that's our let me just see if I can squeeze that shut just a little bit oh, that didn't work did it there we go right that's our little loop on there now what we want to do is take a needle and thread and we'll just want to just sew a little circle um, just so that we can stuff it with a little bit of um, stuffing that I have it's a little bit of um, sort of animal stuffing, do you know what I mean? A little cuddly toy stuffing that I have. But again, you can use, doesn't really matter, um, you can stuff it with a little bit of fabric or cotton wool or something. So let's just sew a little circle, just so that we can pull it around. Not that I'm very good at sewing circles. Let's see well a sort of attempt at sewing a circle anyway I have been making some like little like my little seam binding flowers but I've actually sewn around the outside of the petals as well and they look really really pretty I'm just need a little bit of thicker or wider ribbon um, to use and I think they will look really really nice but I will show you at some point okay not sure whether this one's going to be too big to go in that little thimble but we shall see it's not a very big circle maybe I should have drawn a circle might have been a bit easier mightn't it I don't know, that might work. Okay, let's see. If I 
pink in there. Well, that's all right. I think it's tight. That should be okay. Right, this is the stuffing that I've got. Hope you can see. It's just one that I've got. It's one that's suitable for sort of cuddly toys and things like that. So I did buy two bags of it. Um, but I'm still on my first one and I hardly used any of it. And I've used quite a, you know, I've made quite a few things with it. So I'm going to just stuff this. That might be a bit too much. What do you think? Let's just pop that in. It might be an easier way of doing this, but... That should be all right, do you reckon? Too big? Do you think that's too big? No, by the time I've stuffed it in, I think we should be okay. Right, let's sew this together. Oops. Let's wrap that round. that in so I hope you guys have had a nice weekend we went to a we went for um, lots of we've been going for lots of walks actually because obviously as you know I've not been you know feeling too good um, so we've taken a little bit of time out and just gone walking beach walking getting a nice bit of fresh air and things and we went to um, place called Faro at the weekend yesterday and I found a haberdashery which was lovely but it was just about to close so I didn't really have much time they close you know at two oopsie daisy they close at two o'clock on a Saturday but I picked up a few little bits and pieces so but it's quite expensive it was very expensive so it's not somewhere I will be going very often. Let's pop this to the side now. What do you think? Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. Pops in there lovely, doesn't it? Oh, I like this one. What do you think? Do I will that go to the bottom? Should I just stick a ton of this in the bottom of it? Ouch, that's hot. Let's just twist it in. Ow, it's hot. Very hot. Okay, what do you reckon? That's nice, isn't it? Look at that little one. It's quite nice because it's got a little flower on the top. Perfect. Oh, I love it. How cute. Okay, so that's our little pincushion. Now, I do have these little ones. Now, I think I might try and get a few coloured ones. These are just cheap ones from um, the shop. So what I've done, I'm just going to chop off the end, but be very careful it doesn't sort of flip up when you cut those off. And then you can just stick that through the fabric if it will, because I've taken the point off gonna go in there we go just I mean I think a few little colored ones would look nice wouldn't they let's just pop that there we go one more let's have three little pins in there Oh look, they are lovely, aren't they? I suppose you could probably have, um, careful of those, a needle in there. I suppose you could probably um, glue them in there as well. Okay, let's have a little bit of, let's get a little jump ring. I think I need to soak my fingers and get all that coffee out from under my nails. Where's my other one gone? Okay, I need a little bit of chain, don't I? Put that down. 
Oh. Somebody's alarm going off. Oh, I do like these. That's such fun, isn't it? And I think this is a really lovely little embellishment. If you've got um, a friend that does sewing or things like that, having that on a little card even would be really nice, wouldn't it? On a little folio, if you made like a little folio with a little dingly dangly hanging off it. There we go. I've got a little silver... Um, bowl pin there oh I do like that isn't that so cute actually look I quite like it better than the pink one but aren't they lovely really really lovely so we've got little pin cushions and we've got little dingly danglies which are lovely aren't they not quite sure whether I like this lace around there but maybe I can change it but I love them so there we go guys, it's a nice little um, addition to our journals if you're making your shabadashery one. I will be doing a little bit more on this this week. Um, but I'm not quite sure whether you can see, but that will look nice hanging off there, won't it? I just think they look really, really lovely. So, and then a decision is going to be whether... Um, I'm going to have two signatures or three in here but I will go through what I've done on the first signature anyway in a video next week and probably tomorrow um, so we can go through it and see what we're going to be doing so there we go guys that is a few little um, embellishments to go on our lovely journals or as little gifts I think they're fabulous um, lots of little things I'll pop a link down to these on Amazon so you can have a look but um, if I can find it I'll find the um, link for the Timu one as well but just have a rummage through Timu because they have all sorts of bits and pieces in there I know lots of people don't like it but for things like embellishments I would never buy paper products in there because um, I'm not sure whose they would be um, so they do um, have other people's things in there but I think things like the embellishments um, I think that's fine to buy on there so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me have a fantastic rest of the day stay safe take care and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.